My name is Lord Roger Card, born in Maidstone area. Quite honestly, the lockdown was uh, not exactly a good time for me. I did start doing my own shopping during the first month until they found out I was doing it, at which time they got um, quite stringent and stopped me from doing it. <laughs> They'd be phoning up twice a week and once a visit, and once a week, just to make sure I wasn't going out until they organised me a priority with the supermarket. So uh, that inhibited me somewhat, to say the least. Uh, I used to enjoy going out for a stroll. I mean, never able to walk that fast because of health issues, but uh, I used to enjoy going out. Restricted to walking around your drive to the back garden and back in front so many times, uh, it gets rather boring, which I found a bit of a pain. I'd much rather have been down the seafront, driven down there and just had a little stroll along the seafront and sit down where necessary. But didn't happen. After that, you know, it's been a process of just sort of like carrying on as close to normal as possible. Not always uh, something you can do. With the uh, cancer treatment I was receiving, which started in March 2021, that was every other week you go in for a main chemotherapy and then you have to go back and have the additional pump of chemo removed a couple of days later. So um, the hospitals were all masked up and everything was there. But you're in there for about seven to ten hours or so uh, for each of the uh, main treatment days. So it got rather um, awkward with all the masks because of the breathing aspects, which didn't help me at all. I've been fairly lucky in one way because... Uh, when it was diagnosed, I was stage four terminal straight away. Um, palliative only treatment, but uh, so far I'm still around and <laughs> quite well. <laughs> so uh, I consider myself fairly lucky. What more can one say, really? Uh, to me, the lockdown really, personally, didn't make a great deal of difference to um, me meeting up with family and such like, because I haven't really got any close family nearby. A couple of friends I used to meet, but obviously with that all about, that got uh, put on hold, shall we say. It's beginning to open up now, which is good. I still think that uh, government got a bit too generous with the uh, money side of it to uh, people, in encouraging them to stop home, which meant that they weren't actually going in to do work. I still think it would have been better if they'd have done less of that than they did, because they've sent billions of pounds on subsidising people, and now... They expect it all the time, including the fact that they can work from home all the time when it's not really practical in a lot of cases. I mean, most of the records are in sort of like an office and you need to speak to other people, which would be in the office. You can't do that. I've had instances where I've phoned up and they said, oh, uh, the person's working from home. So you get to get passed through to them and then you don't get any real responses or replies because they're still working from home rather than going back to work. So for me, that smacks a bit. But, uh, quite honestly, you have to put up with a lot of things in life. So all in all, I consider myself quite lucky. Quite honestly, I do think that the government got over generous with people, which is the main problem. Because of that, people are expecting way too much. The government spent far too much money on supporting people which went home and just sat around on the settees and such like doing nothing and getting paid massive amounts for it. If they were only given the amount that a pensioner was given, I'm sure that they would have much rather been in work. But they were given nearly, what, three and a half times that amount. So the government really made a rod for their own back. It's one of those situations, I suppose. For the daily routine, I mean, I'd read the paper, go for a little walk around the back garden to the front and back again, which, as I say, got really boring. Do what house keeping I could on the day, you know, a bit of hoovering, a bit of washing the floors or wiping down sills and such like and showers. You know, all the standard stuff that you normally do. Try to keep it as uh, much as normal as possible. Not really have any contact with people apart from a couple of friends. Uh, uh, one friend from Wales um, used to phone me up um, at least twice a week, you know, just to check on how I was doing. There's a couple of good friends, but unfortunately they're a long way away. And that's life as it is. But um, all in all, as I've said before, I consider myself to be very lucky. I've got a few good friends and uh, I did manage to get through it all. 
I've had seven um, of the COVID jabs. The first one was absolutely atrocious. The AstraZeneca, I had such an allergic reaction to it, they had to yellow card it to the manufacturer. You know, all in all, I get by. It might sound strange to people, but if you haven't got any close relatives or anybody that you could normally go with um, for family, you get used to being on your own and you sort of adjust to cope better than people which have got others which they've used to having their own family around them all the time. Got a little bit difficult at one stage with my brother being in hospital, but um, we got round it. But, uh, overall, I survived. I think that uh, looking back in uh, perhaps 30 odd years, people would be saying, well, that could have been handled a lot better, could have been dealt with better. They could have locked down the uh, people coming into the country earlier so that didn't get the spread that we did. And I think that is a fair comment because that was left for way too late before they locked down. Now that they've opened up, of course, uh, they've got all these new strains of different uh, COVID coming in and uh, people are getting more concerned again. And you see a lot more people beginning to wear masks again, which you know, it's practical in some ways, but the masks that you actually wear, they're now good against COVID. They're only helpful for other bits and pieces because the microbes are so minuscule that they actually pass through these masks that you get for the hospitals. So, so quite honestly, they only work if you've got an illness like a cold or flu or something like that, which could help spread it if you were sneezing. There's a lot of things that could have been done differently and improved. Looking back on it, I'm sure people will say, well, that was a complete and utter foul up. They did reasonable well with that, and they did appallingly with that. But then again, most of these things are sort of like organised by the government. Whichever party's in control, they hardly ever seem to put any real common sense into it. It's all theory and taking information and getting estimates of what they think. I mean, the World Health Organization was absolutely appalling with their forecasts and outcomes and such like. And if anybody looks back in 30 odd years and says that they've done terrible, what were they thinking of? I would have to agree with them.